ECS will continue tracking up the east coast of Florida today and into tonight. It'll be east of Georgia over the open water and then make a landfall as we go into Monday night near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What's left of it will track up through eastern North Carolina and into eastern and southeastern Virginia Tuesday into Tuesday night. Locally, most of the effects will be here on Tuesday. We'll see an increase in rain tomorrow and a little bit of an increase in wind Monday night. But the main impacts will be on Tuesday. Wind gusts above 30 miles an hour for a good chunk of our viewing area. Could have some gusts over 45 miles an hour close to the coast with even some gusts possibly over 50 or 55 miles an hour rainfall a couple inches of rain likely in a lot of areas but we will have some pockets of four or more inches of rain possible and then other concerns we're looking at is the possibility of some minor coastal flooding maybe a foot or two two and a half feet above normal during the high tide cycles and the potential for a few isolated tornadoes best chance that's going to be in eastern and southeastern virginia see here in our future weather the area of the storm will start to make an impact here across south and north carolina and then the center will track up through eastern north carolina into virginia where the rain will be pretty heavy at times by late morning tuesday into early to mid afternoon and then what's left of the storm will continue tracking north and eastward away from us late Tuesday into Tuesday night. In the short term, hot and muggy today and tomorrow we may actually fail to reach 90 degrees for the first time in quite a while. And Tuesday, compared to how it's been about the last month and a half or so, will be rather cool, upper 70s and low 80s with gusty winds and some heavy rainfall. After that, just the chance of a few widely scattered thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and highs for mid to late week between about 85 and 90 degrees.